Welcome back to Curry TV. Today we're going to make chimichurri sauce the Argentina style. So let's take a look at all the ingredients we'll be using and the method of how to make this beautiful sauce. For this we need olive oil, red wine vinegar, parsley. This is about two cups of fresh parsley. We need a few sprigs of um, mint leaves. We need a tablespoon of worth of uh, fresh oregano or dried if it's your one you get your hands on. A couple of garlic cloves, a squeeze of lemon, and uh, cilantro is according to your desire. I'm using about a quarter cup here, chopped up. And we are going to spice it up with some red chili flakes. Of course, I'm going to also tad, tad bit, one or two leaves of our curry leaves. And we need sea salt for this recipe. So let's see how this is made. All right, first off, what we're gonna do is add our garlic cloves, a couple of them, along with some sea salt, and crush them, grind them. With that sea salt in place, it's gonna crush very nice. We don't wanna paste, but we want it crushed. Add sea salt, very little in the beginning, and then if you need it, we can add more. We're also adding lemon juice and vinegar. So calculate that ahead. Very good. Now let's take a quarter cup of fresh cilantro. Just roughly chop them and add that to this. Yeah, we're building a base here. So fresh cilantro goes in and this is our oregano, about two tablespoons or one if you like that fresh flavor of oregano, add about two, else one is good enough, one tablespoon. We definitely do not want that woody stem, so I just took off, I'm just using the leaf only. All right, let's take about two cups of just the parsley leaves, no stems at all. And just whoop. yeah let's add all of that into our mix here mortar mix we need few leaves of mint in there to give that nice nice freshness just few leaves that will go a long ways Let's incorporate all of that with the garlic. Beautiful. Let that rest into our serving bowl. We are going to add one lemon juice. These lemons are big, so I might not need all of it. Good. Into this, we're going to add a few splash of red wine vinegar and a tablespoon of olive oil. Mix it all up. We're going to add a few dried chilies, if only if you want to spice it up. Just crush them. according to your spiciness, okay? You don't have to use all two of them. Just just it a bit, bit. We're gonna add all of this freshness into this mix and then I'll show you how it looks like. Let's give it a good mix. We're gonna add a few leaves of curry leaves just for that Indian touch, only if you want to. The Argentina style does not have curry leaves in it, but I like to personalize my own recipe. So in this, I like to add a few leaves of curry leaf in there. This is a great combination to go with your steak, any of your choice of steak or carne asadas. Um, we are making tandoori cauliflower steaks and that will be a great combination. So there my friend is how you make an Argentina somewhat Indianized chimichurri sauce. Please do give it a try. 
This is a great combination to go with any choice of your steak or even carne asadas. Um, if you're a vegetarian, I have a vegetarian recipe for you guys. It's a tandoori cauliflower steak. Please do check those out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed spending time with us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.